it's another day and it's a gift of god let us thank him for allowing us to enjoy the beauty of your creation be humble in front of the lord with folded hands in prayer ever loving father we pray to you for the grace to remain in your love the saints who lived before us showing us the examples of dedication that called for even to lay down their life in the face of sufferings guide us to continue the same path so that we may also hold on to our faith even in the face of difficulty amen greetings to you all we so very happy that the lord has brought us together once again to learn from this virtual platform what did we learn from the fifth chapter that we had loved previously i give you a clue about teachings okay it's about the true teachings of the church against the schisms and heresies that oppose the teachings of the church what else let me give you another clue it's about defending okay yes the fathers of the church who stood strongly against the wrong teachings that spread to destroy the gospel like the fathers of the church apologist etc in one of the early chapters we talked and learned about the example of early christian communities who listened to the gospel lived the gospel and preached the gospel apart from them we have other beautiful examples of characters who with their life proved the gospel truths we have the next lesson lesson 6 persons who lived according to the word of god luke chapter 8 verses 19 to 21 goes like this then his mother and his brothers came to him but they could not reach him because of the crowd and he was told your mother and your brothers are standing outside waiting to see you but he said to him my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of god and do it some topics that we'll be dealing with in today's session the content for the day the example of mary as a person who listened to the word of god and fulfilled it till her life persons who witnessed the word of god and the life of saints the example of mary let us take it as the first a beautiful character for all time as an epitome of obedience mother mary listened and lived the word of god those of you who have the bible near you open luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 take it as a time take some time to read that very common very often we hear this we read this we listen in the church we uh, we listen the sermon based on this passage pregnant with meanings in her response to the angel reveals the essence of her life in submission behold the handmaid of the lord a person dedicated fully given completely just because it was from god a word she listened and she gave in complete submission the word dwelt in her she lived the word of god till the end of her life she gave her son jesus to the world totally mary nursed and nurtured jesus and was fully with jesus till the end of her end of his mission suffering and death from the cross jesus handed over mary to john and she lived with the disciples obedience complete surrender to his son to her son disciples were guided 
encouraged by Mary, prepared by them to receive the Holy Spirit. Mary glorified God in her life through her examples, by her obedience to God on earth. And so, as a reward, God glorified Mary in heaven. We have other people as well in the, in the church, in the history of the uh, Christian community who witnessed to the word of God. We have the immediate characters. And we have Jesus himself who obeyed his father, who witnessed, continued that mission. We have apostles who lived with Jesus for three years in public life and went with him lived with him, ate with him, and knew what he was doing and imbibed everything that he had done, proclaimed what they heard, seen what they heard, touched what Jesus had done. And so this how they performed after the life of Jesus. They formed ecclesial communities, prayed with them, joined them in prayer in their meal, how they continue to continue to spread that word of God. The fathers of the church, the authentic teachings to protect the church, they continue to stay firm in faith, continue to teach the true teachings of the gospel against all odds, interpreted the word of God correctly for the faithful. They suffered for the word of God, martyred and then entered heaven. So we have a line of people ahead of us, before us, who have gone with this truth of the word of God. There are numerous saints in heaven who went before us to intercede for us, who are role model for us to follow. And so what are we? We are all called to become saints. We are all called to become saints by default, by our baptism. The life, so what is the life of saint? What, what does it portray? What does it depict for us? How do we learn from the life of saints? Now, if you look at it, the church, it is a community of saints. We have numerous saints we have in the church. All give something or the other for us to understand, to follow. We all have our baptismal name on certain saints. According to the teachings of St. Paul, all those who received a baptism are saints. It's like saying, how, much marks, how many marks do you get? When you start your examination, you have full 100 marks. Obviously, when you make a small mistake, marks have been cut. Similarly, by our baptism, we are all saints. Now, why don't we turn become don't become saints? Because we move away from that line of gospel. Church also officially announces saints as persons who lived the gospel message heroically. We have so many saints in the church history: about Saint Anthony, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis of Assisi, a beautiful character. If you know the Saint Francis of Assisi, who was a rich person, father, uh, son of a, a merchant, a rich merchant, cloth merchant. And uh, he went in and then took out all the clothes, all the tile material, and gave it to the poor. The father was furious with him, sent him away. He went away without taking uh, not even a thread of cloth with him. He went away naked. He said he didn't want anything. He just gave up completely. He continued practicing the word of God. He gave things to people. And these people were like Saint Anthony, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis of Assisi were all prompted by Matthew's gospel, chapter 19, verse 21. It says, if you wish to be perfect, go sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Beautiful message. And that's what some of the saints have done. They gave up whatever they had to the poor, lived with the poor, and understood the value of being poor. 
St. Francis Xavier, the second apostle of India. His life is completely being encouraged and being uh, moved ahead because of these words. What will it profit then if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? So life without a meaning, a life without doing something worthwhile, something concrete is useless. And that's what these saints have done. Saint Augustine, we came across this character earlier, beautiful character. He lived his young prime of his life. He lived very flashy life, enjoyed everything in the world. Maybe because of his mother's prayer, he turned. And he makes the words of uh, St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 13, verses 12 to 14, his own. He says, the night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness. He was in darkness. And put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Christ and make no provision for flesh to gratify its desires. He was moved by this word and he practiced that. Saint Clare, Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint John Maria Vianney, Saint Chavra, Saint Alphonsa, Saint Mariam Theresia, Saint Euphrasia, Saint Mother Teresa, Blessed Kunyachin Devar Parambil are all examples of people who will continue to, uh, continue to live by the word of God. Let us recapitulate what we've gone through today's lesson, this session how the word of God changed the life of Mary and she became an example for all of us, an epitome of example. Apostles and fathers of the church were fully dedicated to the gospel who listened to the word of God and became an inspiration for their followers. Their life of saints with their sacrifice and life witness give us a role model for all time to follow. Let us make it our own, this passage from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, 19, verses 21. If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Let us put something in concrete. Let me give you a small activity. Prepare a collage of saints on an A4 size sheet. Make it small. If you have access to your computer, make it on computer. And share it with your friends and relatives on WhatsApp. Dear friends, let all that we've listened help us to become aware of the power of the word of God. Take few seconds to confront ourselves by looking into our inner self while we pray. Jesus, our Lord and Master, just like the saints who listened to the word of God and lived according to it, attained holiness through a life of service. Help us to attain holiness through a life of hard work by listening to the word of God with full heart and live it to become a role model for others just like our dear Mother Mary. Amen. Thank you. God be with us all.